Yep. My name is Jake Blockhorn, and the cipher I chose is the Ubchi cipher. It was used during World War I by the Germans, and it is a double transposition cipher. Uh, it's like one of the ciphers we did earlier in the class, but instead of doing the columnary transposition once, we did it twice. And uh, everything I found, uh, it can't be deciphered without the key, but uh, it was broken in World War I by the French all due to the fact that the Germans sent a code over that wasn't encrypted and they kind of messed it up there. So when you encipher it, first you get your keyword, which I use Cleveland. You number the letters, alphabetical order, so A is one, and then the C is two because that comes next. When you have two letters, you do it from left to right. So the two E's are four and five, because it's the left E's lower than the right. So then you write your message underneath. The message I chose is the Browns home field is called First uh, Energy Stadium. And then uh, the little blank space after the end is supposed to have an X in it for the dummy letter to fill up the rectangle. So for the first columnary transposition, you just peel off the A column because that's number one, and you write it under your keyword again, just the five letters. Uh, from left to right, and then you do the second one the same way, and the third and there, so on and so forth. Uh, for the second and final transposition, you just do the same thing you just did. You do the first uh, A column because it's one, you write it, write it in five groups, and then you do the C because it's the second one, write it in five groups, and then that is now your uh, coded message. To decipher the message, uh, I couldn't find it without the keyword, so I used the keyword Indians, and then the cipher text is right there. You just write it underneath the keyword that you had, and just like how you enciphered it, you do the same thing. You just do a reverse. So you take the first, however many, however many letters you needed, and you put it under the A column, and then you take the next, however many letters, and put it under the D column. Uh, you have to do this again to actually get the message. So you just do the same step you did before, and it should come out to read uh, progressive field was once called Jacob's field. And then there's two X's for the dumb letters. Uh, like I said, deciphering it, I couldn't find anything without a keyword uh, to decipher the text. Like I said, it was broken by the French in World War I. That's because the Germans messed up. They sent uh, uncoded text because uh, something got messed up there. Uh, I don't think it's impossible to decipher it because it doesn't seem like that hard of a cipher to break, but I couldn't find anything on it. And that is my presentation. Thanks.